We have Lyle Dunkel, 2014. Oh, yeah. Almost Thanksgiving, almost his birthday. Lyle, what is your full name? It's Lyle Alvin Dunkel. Where's Alvin come from? I don't know. No idea? No idea. Nobody else in the family. Uh, you never asked them? Or? Uh, I had a nephew by the name of Alvin, but hmm. I don't think. Where were you born? Hopkinton, Iowa. How big were you? Uh, nine pounds and one ounce. And you had what favorite food when you were growing up? Whoa. Uh, we had big gardens of potatoes, tomatoes, onions. We had blackberries, raspberries. I liked uh, raspberries best. Holy cow. Was it a farm? No, we had a couple acres. Oh. And you uh, went to school where as a young child? Hopkinton, Iowa. Hopkinton, Iowa. But what was the school name? Hopkinton Public School. For the whole time? Yep. Uh, what's your favorite food now? Whoa. Uh, ribeye steak probably would be the favorite. What's your favorite expensive or fancy drink? Whoa. You can't that... say bush light. Because <laughs> <laughs> it is neither. Uh, let's go with a drambuie. Oh, drambuie. Why do you like that? Mm. Sweet. Favorite sport to see, favorite sport to play? Favorite sport to play was baseball and basketball. My favorite sport now is probably football for watching. What's your favorite toast you've ever said? Uh, not. Here's to me. <laughs> you had to have had a funny one, you know, like. Something oh, well. that rhymed and ended with a bad word. Or... No, we don't do too many toasts. We just. Uh... If you were to toast, what would you? What would be your signature funny line? Just be. Good luck to everybody. Good luck to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Those crazy tough bars you hang out in would probably be appalled at that kind of language. When was the last time you threw a punch? Threw a punch. Yeah. Uh, probably in grade school, uh -oh. <laughs> on the playground. Oh, nobody messes with the lad. That's right. I had one altercation with a fella. And I, you did? I just had to hit him back. <laughs> <laughs> How did that end up? Did you win? or? Yeah, we, we quit. Oh. <laughs> I think the bell rang, we had to go back in. Oh, it's like a boxing match. Yeah, it was school <laughs> recess. But How old were you when you had your first kiss? Oh. 25, 20, we're getting to the good stuff. 26, maybe. 20, yeah, okay. <laughs> 26. Uh, I don't know. We have people doubting the answers here. Um, that, that's a long time ago. Your, um, if you get stuck on a deserted island, what's your this, the one CD you would pick for music? Whoa. Like a singular album, LP, 8-track tape, cassette? Laser disc, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Buddy Holly. Oh. <laughs> now you've got sparkles in your mustache. Yeah. Uh, he or still me. has stripper glitter. Um, <laughs> we, uh, what would you say to the 30 year old Hunter, Hayden, Bryson, and Brayden? Go to college. That's not your interview, well, son. <laughs> what would you say to them? I would say work hard and uh, be a good husband to your wives, good father to your children, and then a good grandfather to your grandchildren. But not too soon. <laughs> <laughs> when you're old enough, yeah. Well, 30 years old. That's I, thought was, yeah, I thought you said 26. Oh. <laughs> um, what uh, if you could get three free 
all expenses paid trips to anywhere on earth. And Marianne was totally able to go with you, no problem, even if it was a 48 hour trip to get there. Where would you go? Your three dream vacations. We always said we'd like to go back to Australia, but we're too old for that. that <laughs> it's a 14 hour flight, so it's out of the question. No, it's, it's, it's oh. hypothetically. Oh, in, hypothetically. Everything's yeah. in bounds. So okay. Australia, and then what else? Uh, well, maybe Germany. We've never been there. And possibly uh, South America. If Obama came to eat at your house, what would be your signature dish that you would prepare that he would be super impressed with? Like uh, something you've made before. If you limit it to the grill, that is allowed also. <laughs> I I don't know what uh, what he would like to have. We'd have to check with the White House staff. Well, no, I mean he, he'll eat whatever you put in front of him. But oh, no kidding. Yeah, but you don't want him to be like, "What is this?" Well, it'd have to be the ribeyes on the grill then. Yeah. Iowa ribeyes, or would you import it from Kansas? No, it's got to be Iowa. Um. Do you have any funny stories from your childhood that people may or may not know? I can't remember back that far. <laughs> you know, like you split your pants or fell out of a haystack or... We almost drowned. Almost drowned. That's always a pretty funny Didn't story. did you? No. Oh. Oh. I thought that was somebody else. No, I almost got... Um... Oh. I feel like I heard that story too. Mm. You didn't almost drown. Why does everybody think you almost drowned? <laughs> Darn if I know. What happened to you? Huh? He burst his inner ear. Mm, yeah, he's got a hole in his ear. got a hole in the ear, but I don't know how that happened. Oh. Uh, well, when I went out to Bill and Dorothy's farm in Walker, I, Bill was planting corn and I was driving a team of horses with the drag behind. And... There was a ravine that spooked the horses, and they turned real quick. It turned the drag over, and uh, I had to dive to uh, miss getting hit by that. Hmm. Would it have sliced you in pieces? It would have spiked me, yeah. The drag had spikes that, yeah. Uh, to, like, f till the ground in uniform fashion? Yeah. Or, um, Oh, crazy. Were you ever like super hungry at any point growing up or like so poor that you like didn't have food? <laughs> All the time. That's the story of his life. Oh, really? All the time we didn't have food. What did uh, you do? Huh? What did you do? My mother canned tomatoes, she canned raspberries, she canned blackberries, and a lot of times a piece of bread and uh, a bowl of tomatoes is the meal yeah well that's not horrible I guess <laughs> um, what was your favorite Christmas growing up uh, that Christmas. <laughs> there was no money for presents. No presents what kind of crazy place did you grow up in one year oh I shouldn't be talking to uh, go ahead one year what well he said a really, a really, really, really good Christmas was when he got a pair of mittens. Yeah, well, usually. One, one year. <laughs> it was usually clothes, you know. Mittens so. are good. Were they good mittens or just average? <laughs> Didn't really care? Just anything, yeah. Well, with the, the large family, he had everything was hand-me-downs. and I was the bottom of the line, so it was, everything was pretty well worn out by the time I got it. Can you think of um, any unique family traditions that you had of any nature, whether it's a food that you always had on President's Day or, you know, you always had, uh, you know, leg wrestling on Christmas or certain type of goose that you served or anything? No. <laughs> uh, the Dunkel tradition of what? 
We had no tradition. <laughs> we were we were a poor family, but everybody in the 1940s was poor. Yeah. Well, not as poor as you were. Well, there was a lot of poor people, just as poor as Happy we were. Yeah. What is the best singular meal you've ever had in your entire life? Oh, I've never met a bad meal. <laughs> <laughs> um, was there like a magnificent steak or a crab or? Well, he really loved uh, that king crab that. Yeah, the you king crab. Well, one time. Yeah, but crab is crab, you know. It's a... You know, I got so sick. This was several years ago when Heather sent something. There wasn't anything wrong with it. But I didn't know at that time that I needed my gallbladder removed. And so we fixed up this meal. And, uh, it was lobster, I believe, that she had sent. Not crab. Yeah, well, we anyway, had, whatever yeah. it was, I dipped it in butter, and oh yeah, god, it was delicious. Good. And then <laughs> I thought I was going to die. He had to, he took me to the hospital because he thought I was having the big mm -hmm. one. Hmm. But it was only my gallbladder, and you don't yeah. eat lobster with butter when. Oh, too rich. Oh god, that was awful. Um. Oh, you got What's the worst meal you've ever had? Is it bread and tomatoes or? No. Uh, one time my dad took a, a goat as payment <laughs> for his work. <laughs> <laughs> he butchered the goat. Oh. My mother canned it. And so occasionally we would have a little goat stew. <laughs> it's like a Greek festival over at your house. <laughs> yeah, it was terrible. I, I would never... <laughs> You don't order goat anymore? <laughs> no, don't. I don't. I don't know if you can even buy goat food or goat meat. Hmm. Is there anything that you uh, wished you would have done in terms of adventure or thrill seeking? Like, did you want to parachute or bungee jump or wrestle nope. midgets or? Nope. <laughs> Uh, you're thinking through the midget wrestling, aren't you? Uh, I was a pretty straight-laced kid. Uh, oh. If, uh, well, if what? I, uh, the Army was an experience that I'll never forget. Uh, got drafted into the Army and put in two years. And hmm. Where Where did you go, travel-wise? Travel-wise to... Texas basic training in Texas, studied uh, long range radios in Georgia, and went to Fort Knox, Kentucky for 20 months. Did you guard uh, the gold? Nope. I was a classification and assignment clerk. Oh. <laughs> Did you do anything exciting in the Army? And by the way, I know you earned a medal for sharpshooting, so I'm going to have to guess yes. Sure. Good conduct medal. <laughs> no, not the good conduct medal. <laughs> we want to know about the sharpshooting medal. Uh, that was for basic training. Uh, and you were like a ninja, right? I was. I was a pretty good shot for not ever having shot a rifle. Uh, were you? Were on a target? Like, were you hitting the middle bullseye, or what were you hitting? No. It was long range. They had these pop-up targets anywhere from maybe 50 yards out to 300 yards. And you had to watch, and when it popped up, you shot them. And that was the first day of uh, on the rifle range, I was setting a record for hitting them. Second day... It rained a little bit, and my gun jammed, and I didn't get the record. Hmm. What if they had shipped you off to war, and your assignment was to actually snipe? Could you have done it? Sure. Do what you got to do. <laughs> the um, 
in that military.